good morning. I'd like to call the Wayne County Commission meeting to order. Madam Clerk, roll call, please. Commissioner Anderson. Here. Commissioner Basham. Here. Commissioner Baydoun. Here. Commissioner Clark Coleman. Here. Commissioner Dobb. Here. Commissioner Haddis. Commissioner Colleen. Present. Commissioner Knizek. Here. Commissioner Marecki. Here. Commissioner Baker McCormick. Here. Commissioner Scott. Present. Commissioner Varga. Present. Vice Chair Pro Tem Ware. Present. Vice Chair Palomero. Here. Chair Bell. Here. Commissioner Haddis. You have a quorum present. Thank you. Next item, please. Next item, invocation. Okay, our invocation uh, will be done today. Uh, an introduction by Commissioner Basham. Mr. Basham. Well, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Pastor Dennis Clanton. Uh, he's been a senior pastor at Woodland Church in Brownstown since 1999. Uh, prior to that, he was involved in the Georgia District Assemblies of God from 1988 to 1999. And Pastor Clanton is very involved in the Down River community, he reaches out uh, to the community in an effort to build a relationship and serve others. And at this time, Pastor Clanton. Good morning and thank you. And uh, I have been praying for y'all this morning as Commissioner Basham said earlier. And um, okay. I hope that doesn't offend you for me saying y'all because that's how we <laughs> talk when we get to heaven. So um, what the fuck? I was just thinking this morning as I was praying for you, I talked to the Lord and I said, God, these people have a very difficult job right now. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We're in the middle of a number of crises that's taking place in our country. We're trying to come to a greater place of understanding with one another. In my early years of ministry, I was participating in a small church where I was asked to serve and I was going to school at the same time. In one of my pastoral theology classes, one of our professors made a statement, and I'm sure you remember a certain statement that one of your professors or one of your teachers or mentors made to you when you were young, and it just never goes away. And he said to me, he said, the job of a pastor, and our churches are congregational government, which means that the congregation approves the agendas and the plan that we have for our year as well as the budget. He said, in the congregational government, you have to remember that your job is much like a statesman. A statesman always chooses to do what's right, no matter what the cost. And I know that you have a difficult job right now. And so I thought I would pray for you this morning from the book of Psalms, chapter 121, with gratitude for your service and for what you do here in Wayne County. So if you'll just join me in prayer. Father, we look to you this morning. None of us are God. We are in a crisis that none of us could have predicted at Christmas time. And it has affected us and continues to affect us in ways and reveal flaws in our society that we did not know were there. Father, it has exacerbated other flaws that we knew were there. And we have been trying, Lord, to bridge those gaps. Father, it has caused hardship for some and for others. It has been a time of prosperity. So, Lord, it's like any other difficult time that we face. We as leaders look to you for our help and our strength comes from you, Lord. You, the creator of heaven and earth. And though, Father, we cannot empirically point to those things, our faith teaches us that, God, you created all that we see and know from out of nothing. And, Lord Jesus, you will give us the wisdom, the creative ideas, and the courage to do what is right during these times. Finally, Father, I thank you that for each one of these men and women today, for everyone in our county, Lord, for our state and our nation, and yes, ultimately the world, Lord, you watch over us, you protect us, and Father, you keep us. And so we give you praise and glory and honor forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Now bless the work of these commissioners as they meet together in Christ's name. Amen. God Amen. bless you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Pastor, for that wonderful prayer. We appreciate mm -hmm. you joining us today. Thank you. Thank I have you so a, I'm going to go ahead and just exit if that's okay. That's fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you so Bye. much. Thank you, prayer, Commissioner Pastor. Basham. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Basham, for inviting Pastor Clanton. Next Bye. item on the agenda, Madam Clerk. Did Commissioner Haddis arrive, Chair? Commissioner Haddis? I did send him uh, the links to the Zoom just a minute ago. This is Colin McDougal speaking, Commissioner Haddis's assistant. Um, I was kind of surprised he's not on here. Okay. Uh, send him the phone numbers as well, and maybe I sent him to try to call in as well. Thank you, sir. Next item. Meeting correcting and approval of the journal. Commissioner, Vice Chair Pro Tem, where? Move approval. Spark. Anderson. Moved, moved and supported. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Anyone wish to abstain? Motion okay. Came. Thank you. Next item. Report from the chair. Nothing today. Thank you. We're moving to unfinished business. There is none listed. Moving to page two of the agenda, offering of all petitions, ordinances, resolutions, and presentations. There is one resolution listed, a resolution by Commissioner Varga, strongly opposing the latest effort by the Detroit International Bridge Company to allow hazardous materials to be transported across the Ambassador Bridge. Commissioner Varga. Thank you. I would like to move approval, please. Support Anderson. A move by Commissioner Varga, supported by Commissioner Anderson, Commissioner Varga for discussion. Thank you. I would hope that we could all support this uh, resolution. Every so many years, this comes across as uh, they want to allow for hazardous materials and very flammable materials to be transported across the Ambassador Bridge. It's very, very... Um, unlikely that it's going to happen, but I wanted to make sure that um, our voices are put to law uh, uh, to this issue. And I, I really, really hope that one day they will just stop even trying to uh, do this. This is the only bridge right now across, as you know, and uh, it's just very dangerous. So I'm hoping that um, more elected officials join this effort in letting the state know that we really don't want this. We don't want hazardous material in our state anyways, but to bring it over the bridge is just crazy. <laughs> Alicia? Yes. Madam, Madam yes. Are you all set, Commissioner Varga? Yes, thank you. Okay, Commissioner Irma Clark Coleman. Um, I'd like to ask her, once we vote on this, to uh, open it up for co-sponsors. This is, I totally agree with her on this. I sure. support that. Okay. All right, Commissioner Basham. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, the Ambassador Bridge it was built for 100 years. It's 100 years old right now. Uh, they, uh, it was the busiest bridge in North America. Now it's like the second busiest and to allow hazardous material to go across that bridge. Uh, if something happened, it would kill the economy uh, for not just the state, but, but it would certainly affect Canada and this country. So uh, there's a million reasons not to, to allow hazardous material across the Ambassador Bridge. And the other thing too, we have uh, currently, uh, there's ferries that actually can, can transport, uh, if you have to transport hazardous material across the river, uh, we have a system set up to do that. So there is no need to transport uh, hazardous material across the Ambassador Bridge. So I absolutely support this and would ask, again, if you open up for co-sponsors, certainly I'm all on board. It would be 110%. Thank you. Thank you. I will. Thank you. Any other commissioners for discussion? Hearing none, we'll do a voice vote for this one. Madam Clerk, voice vote, roll call vote. Hello. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Basham? 
Yes. Commissioner Baydoun? Yes. Commissioner Clark Coleman? Absolutely. No. Commissioner Dahl? Yes. Pattis? Yes. Commissioner Colleen? Yes. Yes. Commissioner Kinney? Yes. Commissioner Marecki? Yes. Commissioner Baker Yes. Commissioner Scott? Yes. Commissioner Varga? Yes. Vice Chair Pro Tim Weir? Yes. Vice Chair Palomero? Yes. Chair Bell? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to open the board for co-sponsors. Um, if you wish to co-sponsor, we'll just do a, a voice vote. Um, all of those wishing to uh, co-sponsor, say aye. 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 Those wishing not to co-sponsor, please say your name now, if you wish not to co-sponsor. Okay, we have 14 co-sponsors for Commissioner Varga's resolution. Co-sponsors duly noted. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Varga. Thank you very much, all of you. Next item, please. We're moving to reports from committees. Report A is from the Committee on Economic Development. There is one item listed. Commissioner Hayes. Yes, uh, uh, I, uh, I move for approval for the item. Can you stop? The Commissioner Baydoun support it? Yes. Thank you. Any discussion? <coughs> Any discussion on the item? Hearing none, roll call vote. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Basham? Yes. Commissioner Basham? Commissioner Basham? A lot of static in the background. Commissioner Baydoun? Yes. Commissioner Clark Coleman? Yes. Commissioner Dahl? Yes. Commissioner Haddis? Yes. Commissioner Colleen? Aye. Commissioner Konezic? Yes. Commissioner Marecki? Yes. Commissioner Baker McCormick? Yes. You Scott? Yes. Commissioner Varga? Yes. Vice Chair Pro Tim Ware? Yes. Vice Chair Palomero? Yes. Chair Bell? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item, please. We're moving to report B from the Committee on Public Services. There are seven items listed on pages two through five of the agenda. Commissioner Marecki. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'd like to move to receive and file item number one and to approve items two through seven. I would just like to note that we were waiting for some um, updated CIP information and our staff was giving, uh, number seven, our staff was given that uh, late last night. So that's all set for that item. Argus support. Okay, it's been moved and supported. Any discussion on the Committee on Public Services? Any discussion on the Committee on Public Services? Commissioner Basham. Oh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, if it, uh, I'd like to be the uh, maker of the motion for number five, if that uh, works with the chair. And no problem. It's in my district. And also, um, I, I'm staying uh, consistent with my record on comparable source contracts, so I'll be a no vote on number six. Okay, Madam Clerk, you have that? We noted. it. Okay. Any further discussion on the public services report? Can, can, can she scroll back a little bit? Which, which item, Commissioner? Uh, I was right. Okay, right there, right there, right there. Uh, is that, Martha Scott, is that your district? Well, it's I what, my two? district. I, I, two. I, I, can't, I can't see, I'm on the phone. Oh, okay. So, six miles. I, item number two is my district. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I yeah. thought, okay, I thought. You got the whole city, you know. <laughs> 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 Six Mile, East, East McNichols, 
Oakland to the Quinder. Okay. Is there a question, oh, no, that, Commissioner? That, that is my district. Not the Renaissance Center? No, 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 no. no. The, the, you said six the, is, mile. It's resurfacing six. of Six Mile Road from Oakland Avenue to the Quinder. Yes, that's mine. And so thank you, uh, um, Commissioner Clark Coleman, because I but can't see it. But the company is today. my district. Yes, the company the spotting. Spotting is the company. We're talking about that. Yes. The pay, We're the talking pay. about the district where they're going to do the work at. The resurfacing. Martha, you might want to be the maker of the motion on this one. Yes, that's what I was just going to ask. That's why I was thanking you for letting me know. Okay. No, no problem. All right. Okay. Thank Madam you. Madam Clerk, you have that? <laughs> okay, any further discussion on the public services report? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Basham? Yes, with my exceptions. Commissioner Baydoon? Yes. Commissioner Clark Coleman? Yes. Commissioner Dog? Yes. Commissioner Haddis? Yes. Commissioner Queen? Yes. Commissioner Knizic? Yes. Commissioner Marecki? Yes. Commissioner Baker McCormick? Yes. Commissioner Scott? Yes. Commissioner Varga? Yes. Vice Chair Poulsen Ware? Yes. Vice Chair Palomero? Yes. Chair Bell? Yes. And I have Commissioner Martin, <coughs> the maker of the motion on number two. <coughs> Basham yes, as a motion on number five and Commissioner Basham as a no on item six. Motion carries. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Next item, Thank please. Thank you. We are moving to report C from the Committee on Ways and Means. There are four items listed. Commissioner Varga. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move approval of all the items. Support. How are you doing? Okay, moved and supported. Any discussion on these items? Any discussion on the ways and means items? Hearing none, roll call vote for the Committee on Ways and Means. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Fashion? Yes. Commissioner Baydoon? Yes. Commissioner Clark Coleman? Yes. Commissioner Dog? Yes. Commissioner Haddis? Yes. Commissioner Colleen? Yes. Commissioner Knizic? Yes. Commissioner Marecki? Yes. Commissioner Baker McCormick? Yes. <coughs> yes. Commissioner Varga? Yes. Vice Chair Pro Tim Ware? Yes. Vice Chair Palomero? Yes. Chair Bell? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item, please. We are moving to report D from the Committee on Health and Human Services. One item listed on pages five and six of the agenda. Okay, Commissioner Clean. Thank you, Madam Chair. We do have one item, but before I move that, I want to um, mention that we did have the public hearing on the uh, Human Rights Ordinance. And uh, it was a very good discussion. Uh, I want to thank uh, Corporation Council uh, for coming and testifying. I think it's fair to say that we're working seamlessly with the administration on this. Uh, the goal is the same, uh, and they brought some uh, good ideas for clarifications in the ordinance. We also heard from uh, Prosecutor Worthy and her testimony. Thank you, Prosecutor, and her testimony was valuable. Uh, and we also heard from representatives of uh, Equality Michigan, as well as Fair Michigan. Uh, there are some secretarial uh, issues to clean up. Uh, there's also some wording issues to clean up. Uh, no big issues have been raised, uh, or, or no new uh, amendments have really been raised. Uh, so we still have a little work to do on it before we're ready to bring it back here. I kind of doubt that we're going to get it out of committee uh, at our next meeting. So it might be a couple of meetings from now until it comes back to the full board. So I just want to make my colleagues aware of where we're going. And I've gotten good feedback, a couple from commissioners, a couple of emails. So thank you, everybody that has uh, helped to uh, 
to sharpen up the document. With that, uh, I will move item, uh, I'll move the one item for approval. Uh, we have seen this before. Uh, well, we haven't seen this before, but uh, this also is with the Family Center. And the last time we talked about this, there were some problems. Uh, payments got held up from HUD. Um, and then since the payments now go directly uh, to Samaritas. Uh, so this item cleans up all of those uh, past problems. Um, and uh, and it puts us uh, on the right footing going forward. So I'll move the one item for approval. Thank you, Madam Chair. Citizen Anderson. Services, HHS. Oh, wow. yeah. That's, uh... Thank you, and everyone, please remember to put your phones on mute if you're not a commissioner. I'm sorry, I was moved by Commissioner Colleen, supported by Commissioner Anderson. Yes. Any discussion on the Health and Human Services Report? Uh, one question. Commissioner uh, Clark Coleman. I, I'm sorry. The Wayne County Family Center is—is is it still located in Westlake? It is currently. Uh, it, it, yes, and they in negotiation. This is Hedis, please. Uh, they in negotiation and uh, uh, moving it to uh, two possible sites: one in Inkster, one in Wayne. I don't know which one. So we're waiting for them to give us address to approve some of the funding. Okay. All right. So right now it's in Westland. Yes. But you are, uh, but there's talk about moving it to Inkster or where else? Or, or City of Wayne. They have a two possible site. Oh, okay. They negotiate the price now, the, which one uh, they agree on, then they would bring it to the uh, uh, board, to the commission to for approval. I see. Thank you. Uh, you Madam Chair, if I may. Commissioner Klein. Yeah, just to clarify what uh, uh, Commissioner Clark Coleman, almost said Senator, uh, Clark Coleman uh, is okay. quite uh, a few years. Yeah, once a Senator, always a Senator. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, we transferred, uh, the Wayne County used to run this, and we transferred the management of it to uh, Samaritas a few years ago. Uh, and now the grant that the county gets for this instead of taking it directly, uh, the grant now goes to Samaritas. So they have uh, control. Uh, they are the managers of this. And uh, so, yes, they are out looking uh, to see if there's a better uh, location for them. So I just wanted, hopefully that's clarification. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Any additional discussion? Any Additional discussion, hearing none, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Basham? Yes. Commissioner Baydoun? Yes. Commissioner Clark Coleman? Yes. Commissioner Dahl? Yes. Commissioner Haddis? Yes. Commissioner Colleen? Yes. Commissioner Knizic? Yes. Commissioner Marecki? Yes. Commissioner Baker McCormick? <clears throat> yes. Commissioner Scott? Yes. Commissioner Varga? Yes. Vice Chair Pro Tem Ware? Vice Chair Pro Tem Ware? Vice Chair Palmera? Yes. Chair Bell? Yes. Vice Chair Pro Tem Ware? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you so much. Next item, please. We're going to page six from the Committee on Audit. There, uh -oh. there are two items listed. Uh oh. I think I'm frozen. I think I was frozen. I'm sorry. Um, Commissioner Basham. Well, thank you, Madam Chair. I have two items to receive and file. Mm -hmm. I would move those. Support, Dob. Okay, it's moved and supported. Any discussion on the two items on audit? Hearing none, because they are both receiving file, we'll, we can do a voice vote for this one. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Anyone wish to abstain? Okay, Madam Clerk. 
We are moving to report F from the Committee on Government Operations. Hold on one second, Comm Commissioner. I mean, Madam Clerk. Yes. Go back, please, to the audit report. Yes. Okay. Uh, did the motion pass for the audit report? Oh, okay. Yes, motion carries. Thank you. We are moving to report F from the Committee on Government Operations. There are six items listed on pages six to eight of the agenda. Okay. Commission, uh, Government Operations, Commissioner Scott. Thank you, Madam Chair. I cannot see the agenda. So uh, I believe that person was receiving file. I'm trying to remember from the committee. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, receiving file on that. Is there motion and support for that? Uh, there's so three items. We can take all three items together, Commissioner. Oh, okay. All right. Then uh, let's move all three then. There's support. Six, there's six items. I'm Wait, sorry, yeah. six. Yes, yeah, that's right. She did say six. Um, yeah. what, what, and then we just, or, or is that under new We're, for the baseball in Hamtramck, baseball park? That's new business. That's new. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, um, I need a motion and support for all six items, please. Okay, moved by Commissioner Scott, supported by? Support. Had it. Whoever. Okay. Thank you. And All in favor? Uh, there's a oh, call the roll. <laughs> <laughs> call, call the roll, please. <laughs> okay, Alicia, you've been released. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I guess my mind and my eyes are trying to figure out this stuff. <laughs> no problem. I'll do sorry. that part, Commissioner. <laughs> we Thank, have Thank you. I we appreciate do, it. <laughs> thank you. We do have a, a question, Commissioner Basham. It's not a question, Madam Chair. It's the it's a, it's a way I'm going to vote. Uh, it was explained to me, even though it's a uh, comparable source, um, I will support uh, item number two. But number three um, is uh, a no vote for me, and I'd appreciate that. So, And then number six, uh, again, uh, number six is a yes, but it was explained to me, even though it's retroactive. So only one I'll be voting no on will be number three. Okay. <clears throat> Madam Clerk, do you have that? Duly noted. Commissioner Bastion is a no on item number three. Thank you very much. Okay. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? Hearing none. We can do a roll call vote now. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Clerk. <laughs> Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Basham? Yes, with the exception of three. Commissioner Baydoon? Yes. Commissioner Clark Coleman? Yes. Commissioner Dahl? Yes. Commissioner Haddis? Yes. Commissioner Colleen? Yes. Commissioner Kinesic? Yes. Commissioner Marecki? Yes. Commissioner Baker McCormick? Yes. Commissioner Scott? Yes. Commissioner Varga? Yes. Vice Chair Pro Tim Ware? Yes. Vice Chair Palomero? Yes. Chair Bell? Yes. Motion carries, and I have Commissioner Basham as a no on item number three. Yes, thank you. Next item, please. Thank you all. Thank, thank you. Committee and task meeting. <clears throat> okay, everyone, please note the upcoming meetings for next week. And there is a special committee on the criminal justice complex today at 12 o'clock. Um, if there are any changes to the committees, please let the clerk know. Next item. Public comments. Okay, and what? And now I'll say this uh, for the public. Um, we operate in committees and we just went through the committee reports during the committees. That's when uh, all of the items are thoroughly vetted and discussed and then they come here for final disposition. So that's um, how the Wayne County Commission operates. Uh, we get into a lot of the details during the committees. 
And at this point, I'd like to ask uh, our clerk, do we have any comments that were uh, sent to your email? No, ma'am. Is there anyone on the phone or in Zoom from the public who would like to address the Wayne County Commission? Um, at this point, if we, uh, we have you on mute, you can mute, unmute everyone in case someone would like to make a comment. Any public comments from anyone listening to the Wayne County Commission meeting? Any comments from the public? <clears throat> Any comments from the public? And um, one more time, if not, you could put a comment in the chat and we will read it as well. Okay, hearing none, seeing none, next item. We're moving to page nine of the agenda, new business. There is one item listed requesting approval of a grant agreement between the Charter County of Wayne and the U.S. Department of Interior National Park Service in the amount of $490,729 county match required to rehabilitate the grandstands of Hamtramck Stadium. Okay, I think Terry Carroll's on the line. Nice, Martha. Thank you, Madam Chair. Yes, this is fantastic. <laughs> Thank okay, you, Madam. Yes, Mr. Carroll. Thank you. Thank okay. you, Madam Chair. Terry Carroll, Community Development. I want to thank the uh, chairperson for the immediate consideration. We were at the point of possibly not making this deadline, and having it considered today really makes it attainable for us. <laughs> As, as was stated, this is a grant for demolition of seating and handrails, cleaning and stripping of the paint on the metal frame of the grandstand, and the repair and replacement of necessary metal on the grandstand. This is an African American Civil Rights Historic uh, Preservation Grant that is offered by the National Park Service. And the reason it took so long in getting to you is apparently the county has never had a grant from the National Park Service or the Department of the Interior and we had to get it into the system. So that's why it took so long. Um, once this is put together, uh, the grant agreement goes back to Washington and becomes part of an overall $2.3 million renovation project of Hamtramck Stadium, which is one of five original Negro League baseball fields still in existence in the United States. Wow. Congratulations, Mark. Very good. Very yeah, good. This, this is just fantastic, I tell you. <laughs> oh, this is boy. wonderful. Very good. Yeah. Uh, Commissioner Scott, I assume you'd like to move this item? Oh, I do. Okay. <laughs> Martha G. Scott moves this side. <laughs> and, and I support it. No. Oh, this McCormick, oh, thank you. McCormick support. Very good. Move and support. Any discussion, please? Yes, Madam discussion Chair. Discussion by any commissioners. Commissioner Colleen. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, since we're hitting this, uh, since the grant is coming from the National Park Service, if I'm reading this right, what kind of... Uh, federal designation will this have then? Will this be uh, an historic monument, an historic landmark? What Do we know what the classification is that the feds uh, are going to give this? It, it, it had to have national historic uh, designation be, as a part of the, uh, as a prerequisite for the application. It's already a national historic. Yeah. Right, it's we did that a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it, but is, I don't, is, that's not under the Park Service, correct? Um, I'm not sure who gives it. I think uh, the Department of Interior gives it. I'm not sure it's the Park Service, though. I think you're right. And and are the feds going to manage this then and do the upkeep? And No, this, uh, this becomes under what the city of Hamtramck, the city, uh, the school district of Hamtramck, and other interested organizations in Hamtramck have put together what they're calling a recreation conservancy. 
that will manage and Excellent. maintain the entire complex of Hamtramck Stadium, Keyworth, and a bunch of other smaller parcels around there. Well, that's great. I'm glad that there's a local nonprofit that has uh, that has this and it's not managed from D.C. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Carroll. Certainly. Thank you. Any additional questions or discussion? Additional questions or discussion? I don't see any hands. Well, I think this is wonderful that we have one of uh, five in the whole country, and this is going to be such a, a great attraction for the city of Hamtramck and the county of Wayne. So um, yep. we're so very happy to have this uh, right here in our own backyard. It's going to be wonders for the children who, who play baseball and getting baseball uh, back to the hands of our young people. Um, so this is great. Um, hearing no other discussion or comments, uh, I'll do a roll call vote. Okay, sorry, clarification, please. I have Commissioner Scott as the maker of the motion and who supported the motion? Okay, I'm okay. Aaron. McCormick. McCormick. <laughs> Clark, Clark, Clark Coleman said it first. <laughs> yeah. uh, Pam, take your pick. I'm not going to get in trouble here. <laughs> Call for the vote, Martha. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that to the chair this time. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Scott is the maker of the motion, and did Commissioner Clark Coleman said she said it first for support. Okay. I did. Okay, Commissioner uh, Irma Clark Coleman, support. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Basham? Yes. Commissioner Baydoon? Yes. Commissioner Clark Coleman? Yes. Commissioner Daub? Yes. Commissioner Haddis? Yes. Commissioner Colleen? All right. Commissioner Knizek? Yes. Commissioner Marecki? Yes. Commissioner Baker McCormick? Yes. Commissioner Scott? Yes, and everybody will be invited to ham training. All Commissioner right. Commissioner Vargas? <laughs> yes. Vice Chair Pro Tim Ware? Yes. Vice Chair Palomero? Yes. Chair Bell? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is going to be wonderful. Okay, next item, please. We are on testimonial resolutions and certificates of appreciation. There are 15 items listed on pages 9 and 10 of the agenda. Okay, Move so. approval. Port. Who, who made the motion? Where? You're aware. Thank you. Okay, it's been moved and supported for the certificates of appreciation. All in favor, we'll do a voice vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Anyone wish to abstain? Okay, Madam Clerk. Motion carries. We are moving to memoriams. There are six names listed. <clears throat> okay. Um, anyone wish to speak to any of the names listed in memoriams? Uh, Madam Chair. Commissioner Dobb. I have one that I'd like to add. Okay. Um, Mary Polhinky Walker, who Ooh. is um, the mother of uh, my very good friend and my also my state senator, Dana Polhinky, um, passed away a few days ago. Um, she was an animal lover, and she's asked for um, any um, uh, you know uh, memorial donations to be made to the Dallas to the rescue. Uh, organization or Karma Cat Cafe. She especially loved black and white cats. Mm -hmm. I'd like to enter that into the record. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Anyone else wish to speak on any of the names listed? Madam Chair. Commissioner Clark Coleman. Uh, not on the names as mentioned, but we did a resolution for uh, a former state senator, uh, Ar Arthur Miller. Mm -hmm. And um, I, the, our resolution wasn't ready in time for the funeral, mm -hmm. but I did uh, have it delivered to uh, his wife, Marcia, Okay. and uh, she was ecstatic. Uh, I, I shared with her um, the nice things that were said about her husband, uh, and she asked me if I would please uh, deliver to the entire commission 
her sincere gratitude. She, she thought that, that the resolution was beautiful. And she said that she, she, uh, she, she knew that her family would treasure it. So I want to deliver that message. Thank you so much, Commissioner. I know he meant a lot to all of us, as was stated last week. So thank you so much for doing that for us. Madam Chair? Yes, Commissioner Knizik. I was wondering if I might respectfully ask uh, of you and Commissioners Clark Coleman and Baker McCormick, Scott and Ware, if I might be added as a co-sponsor to the memorial resolution for Ms. Jelena Gay. Um, her sister is like a, a sister to me and was wondering if you might be willing to allow me to co-sponsor that resolution. That's fine. Thank you, ma'am. We'll add your name. Thank you. Any additional discussion on the memoriams? If not, if everyone could please be silent for a moment of silence in memory of the names listed and for all that we've lost since we last met. Moment of silence, please. Thank you. Next item, Madam Clerk. Reconsiderations. There are none. Next item. Remarks by members. Any commissioners wishing to make remarks at this time, please uh, raise your hand and I will notice you here. I see Commissioner Marecki. Uh, thanks, Madam Chair. I just have, I guess, another question about an update on when you think we may be going back to the Guardian building. Um, I am um, following the direction of the governor as of right now, the Open Meeting Act um, to meet via Zoom or any other uh, platform is until the end of this month. If she does not extend that, we'll be back in the Guardian building. If she does extend it, we'll continue to meet this way. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Anderson? Thank you, Madam Chair. I, first of all, I wanted to uh, ask for maybe a, a bit of a clarification from Commissioner Palomera, but uh, it, it almost as though looks as though he's wearing yellow and blue, uh, representing that university to the west of here instead of the one uh, up in the Lansing area. <laughs> and I, I wanted to uh, just to make sure that my eyes weren't playing tricks on me. Uh, Commissioner, your your eyes are playing tricks. Uh, <laughs> you need to adjust the color on your computer or your phone. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate that. Uh, Thank you. I, uh, Madam Chair, seriously, I have one uh, item. Uh, yes. I know to uh, Mr. Candrevis, if he's still on the call, I see the the Parthenon there, so apparently he's still here. Uh, but I had, had requested uh, a clarification on the mowing plan. I believe at the last meeting, it could have been the committee meeting, uh, but I was, I'd request that because there seemed to be some areas that were left off uh, of the mowing plan. I just wanted to make sure we're not going to forget about those, uh, that the, uh, or the contractor's not going to forget about those. I don't believe I received a response. Mr. Kent, Andy, are you on the line? He's muted. I am, Madam Chair. Do you want me did to you respond? Hear, did you hear Commissioner's uh, sure. request? Yes. Do you have a response? Sure. <laughs> I was always taught to uh, just take the members' remarks and listen and take your beatings. But uh, if I need to come back with the chair's approval, I will answer this. Um, to, to, the, to Commissioner Anderson's answer, uh, question, and for everybody to know, there are many, many parcels which Wayne County uh, does mow. What was provided was the boulevard mowing. Um, that's the, you know, the large the median areas that were done. Um, I'm working with the department now to figure out what their – all the little parcels, they have swath mowing, which is some small orphan areas, I think. Um, and I think, Commissioner Anderson, those are prominent in your district. It's little, little pieces here and there, and I know uh, Commissioner Knizik as well. 
there are other um, types of mowing. So I'm working right now to get their updated list on, um, you know, the whole department wide and what they do and when they're going to do it. So I uh, haven't forgotten about it, working with them to put that together. It's a lot of parts, much more extensive than just the median uh, boulevard, tow uh, boulevard mowing because that's done by um, a vendor and um, the other stuff is done in-house, I believe. So still working on getting that out to you. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Baidun. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I just have a couple remarks. As all of you have seen, the numbers of uh, cases are spiking in Michigan uh, as more and more people uh, are enjoying this beautiful weather in, in the summer in, in Michigan. But I think it's, it's incumbent on all of us, uh, we represent 15 districts, to continue to remind people to practice the social distancing and to follow the CDC guidelines and, and to also stress that it is uh, mandatory for people to wear face masks uh, slash uh, face coverings uh, because we really don't want to go back, uh, you know, where the hospitals will be full and they, they're going to be at capacity. So I'm just, just reminding, uh, and I see many of uh, my com colleagues who are on the, on the social media on Facebook they post uh, the numbers because Wayne County uh, puts out these numbers on a daily basis. And I've been doing it since the crisis started and people, obviously a lot of people appreciate it. Many people think uh, they have the conspiracy theory that this is all hoax, but uh, obviously it is not, you know, a lot of people are affected by this. I just ask that we continue to educate and, 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 and send out information and remind people that we need to stay vigilant this thing is very serious. It's not over. We're still in the middle of a pandemic. Thank you, uh, Commissioner, Thank for those you, words. Um, so very, so very true that we have to still uh, do what we have to do to protect ourselves and protect others. So it's so very important that we do that so that we won't go backwards and we continue to go forward. So thank you for that reminder for everyone. Thank Madam you. Madam Chair. Um, yes. Oh, good. Commissioner Varga's going to call on you next anyway. Commissioner Varga, and, and I don't know what you're going to say, but if uh, you can incorporate uh, the budget into your comments, please. Okay, that was one thing. Uh, the budget is supposed to be here August 3rd, and I'm working very hard. Uh, actually, um, we're waiting. I'm waiting for a phone call to uh, see if maybe we could speed it up a little bit. Um, perhaps some of the departments that um, are set before that date, maybe they could send it down to us uh, so we could start looking at it and then uh, approve a budget at the um, end of uh, hopefully September, maybe the 24th. Um, on the uh, virus, I think it's really important that we also include the people that are very, very sick, people who get this get oxygen deprived and they get in real bad shapes where some of them have to go into uh, rehab and learn how to walk again. Um, and it takes a long time for the lungs to repair itself. So I think it's really important to say, even if you don't die, you don't want to get sick. It takes months and months for people to get well. And uh, I'm more worried about that for a lot of people than actually uh, the death because they don't realize that uh, it is that serious. And so I'm telling everybody, just don't get sick. Right. <clears throat> that way you're going to be okay. Um, so I will continue to let you know about the budget as, uh, as I keep discussing it with the administration. And uh, Andy, I need your help to move it along too. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Basham? Oh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, just FYI, generally speaking, I will not support any budget that does not have some funding for the Marine Patrol who actually has to walk on in boots and waders to get onto the boat to go out on Detroit River to pick up bodies uh, for, for this region. And so we need to 
make sure that's a priority. I know that we have a, a, a grant application in, but a grant application is not getting it done. So we need to have some funding to build a dock for the Marine Patrol in Trenton in Elizabeth Park. Commissioner Basham, I echo that and I support you 100%. Thank you. We'll work Thank on you, that. Yeah. Can't promise, but I'll work on it. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Any other discussion or remarks by members? Any other remarks by members? Okay. Um, just to let you know, I'm looking at my calendar because this is the 16th. We won't have our next meeting until August 6th. So that's um, actually in two weeks from now. So next week are our committee meetings and then we'll have our next full board meeting on August 6th. And hopefully uh, we're pressing to get the budget in as soon as possible so we can start those deliberations and determine how we're going to have deliberations um, via Zoom. Obviously, if the Open Meetings Act has been extended to do such, if not, and the Open Meeting Act um, is back in place, then we'll have all of our meetings down in the chambers because they have been outfitted to uh, provide the plexiglass so that we can be social distance and then have um, distance with the plexiglass between us. So we'll play it by ear, but we are trying to get the budget as soon as possible so we can begin those deliberations. Madam have, Chair. Yes, Madam uh, Commissioner McCormick. Yes, thank you. Um, just wanted to thank the administration for looking into the Dropbox um, uh, monies from the, the CARE Act <laughs> to support uh, absentee voters uh, and to protect people from possibly uh, contracting uh, the COVID virus. Um, so I really appreciate the administration for for looking at the hundred thousand dollars towards those uh, drop boxes throughout Wayne County. I just wanted to mention that as we talk about the budget. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Any additional comments or remarks? Okay, hearing none, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. All right, Support. it's been moved and supported. Meeting adjourned, we'll see you soon. Thank you. See you soon. Have a good one.